All right, folks. Folks. Stereo police. Um, back with the final part three video of the audio note kits DAC comparison series. Today we're going to be talking about the power supply. And this might be one of the last videos I ever post here on on YouTube. One of the final two or three, maybe, and I'll tell you why. I just wrapped up my drum cover. I think I put the last drum cover ever on here, and um, and uh, I may uh, try to buy a one of these Audio Note Kit DAX pre-built if they have one to save me the time and energy. Um, and if I do that, I'll uh, do a review of it. Uh, but this may be the last time you ever see me doing a comparison or one of these um, one of these slide uh, videos, you know, where I produce slides and do comparisons and that sort of thing. So uh, uh, it's the end of an era, folks. End of an era. So I'm glad you're here to join me. End of an era. Kind of sad in a way. Okay, let's do it. Again, we're talking about the models, uh, the audio note models, um, and we've discussed this in parts one and two. And we already discussed, uh, we've compared the, the, the DAC uh, digital board. We've already discussed the analog section, you know, the differences between the model, the models and the range. And today we're going to be talking about the entirety of the... It's my phone. Hang on. Well, you got to hear my ringtone. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> I, I have to answer these things quickly because my father's in the hospital right now and, and I never know uh, who might be calling. I've been on the phone with doctors all day. But unlike the other guys, uh, um, you know, um, I'm just a regular guy. I'm not going to edit this stuff out. Okay. Uh, we're okay. Yeah, we're talking about the power supply, and we're going to talk about the what uh, what changes, what upgrades happen as we ascend up the model range. Let's do it, man. Um, so we already discussed this whole side of the DAC, and. Right now, we're going to discuss this whole side of the deck. They kind of segment it into halves here. And uh, so there we have it. And they've got this little barrier in between. It's for electromagnetic interference, EMI, and noise. Some of the photos exclude that barrier, um, but I think the barrier is there. Uh, kind of like a Faraday shield or not quite, but it's just an electromagnetic shield. Um, and some of the photos excluded, but I think it's there in all of them. Maybe I'm not quite sure. There is a lot of confusion as I go through that website. A lot. I am very confused. But maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm a knucklehead. I'll tell you about some of the confusion in in, in, in just a little bit. So um, analog board. That should say power supply. Okay. All right. Boy, am I flawed. Okay. Um, I am. I apologize for the small text, but I had to fit it all into one thing here into one um, spreadsheet. Okay, so let's begin with the baseline, the bottom of the pyramid. Like I said before, all of these things are quality. All of them are. Oh, stick with me to the end because I'm going to tell you what I'm leaning toward purchasing and why. All right. I might even make a decision right here and now too. Because I'm, as I'm talking about it, I might actually, you know, talk myself into something here. All right. So I, I had, uh, of all of the um, <clears throat> aspects of the design, I had the most confusion trying to understand what was going on with respect to the upgrades and changes, and even the design aspects of the power supply. Because you know, no schematic. No schematics. Things are kind of put into plain language, so it's not really engineering speak. That's fine. I, I dig it. But um, 
I just didn't have enough to go on to 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 give you um, really super informative information, but it's not, not not so necessary anyway. All right. So the power supply, uh, the components I want to talk about, the capacitor, the tube rectifier. There's a digital transformer. There's resistors. There's regulation. Others. So let's just start with the baseline. Um, let me go down here to the DAC 1.1X. This is where it all starts, okay? So the main components are, um, let's start with the digital. So we have the digital board right here, and it needs its own power supply because it's a low voltage supply. Um, I can't really read that. It's, I, it's likely to be something like, you know, maybe uh, plus and minus five volts, something like that, or maybe a little more, not quite sure. Um, but it's a low voltage supply, so it has its own supply board right here. And I can tell you, I've, uh, you, you can see there's, a, you can't see it. It says AC, AC, and this CT stands for center tap right there. That means it's receiving an input of an AC source from a transformer, a center tapped transformer. I, and somewhere I read that there's a toroidal transformer that feeds this thing. I don't see a toroidal transformer anywhere in any of these photos. I do see a small transformer here and a large transformer. So I got to assume this is the digital transformer that feeds this. I don't know. Three of my favorite words. I don't know. Three of the most humbling words out there. I don't know. So I'm guessing this is the digital transformer. If there's a toroidal transformer in here, it's well hidden. I don't see it. Um, but... So let's just pretend that this is the digital transformer, not that it's digital. It means it means it's the power supply transformer, the step down AC transformer for the digital. It feeds this board here. These little solid state devices are likely to be um, regulators. Um, somewhere on this board, there's going to be rectification and regulation. And then these are filter caps. All right. Let's leave it at that. Then we have the analog side transformer. This is the big boy here. It's a beautiful, this is a beautiful looking transformer too. This is gorgeous. I mean, it's, it's quality stuff. It's amazing. Um, it's amazing you can even get this thing with these quality circuit boards, these through hole circuit boards, these components. It's amazing they can even sell it at this price. But, so we have this analog uh, power supply transformer and it's going to you know output a step up or a step down voltage I don't know and it's going to and it looks like coming from here there's going to be multiple voltages uh, for multiple aspects of, of, of the analog board I don't know um, but anyway we come to the uh, power supply board here and we have I don't know what's going on here I mean, uh, is this the tube, is there, a, is, is there a tube rectifier right here? Is that what that is? Um, and what is this? Is this a solid state regulator? A voltage regulator there? I know these are electrolytic caps. I know these are resistors. I don't know the design, and I'm going to leave it at that. So let's just move on and care about the upgrades, okay? I, I trust the company, and I don't need to know the ins and outs, the intricacies of, of the design. So let's move on. Let's see what changes. And again, I'm very, very confused by the website. So I'm going to give you my get best guess at what's going on here based on what I've read. And I, I couldn't study it, you know, like ad nauseum, all right, ad infinitum. I couldn't. I studied it for as long as I could, given the time that I had. This is my best guess. If I made a mistake, my apologies. You're welcome to study it yourself um, and uh, correct me if you wish. So my best guess from the web website is you move on to the signature. It says you get a mains transformer and choke combination in the signature. Let's go to the signature right here. Well, certainly... There's a different design going on here because look, they've added an extra tube. Now, uh, this is this is an ECL82 right here. But what is going on here? What is this? What is it doing? 
and they've added some device with an extra vertical heat sink here. Um, what's going on here? And where's the choke? I don't see a choke. Um, I don't know. Uh, they say there's ECL tube regulation, but I didn't see that mentioned up here. But certainly there's a, in the DAC 1.1X, there's a tube. So I don't know what's going on. But this is certainly some kind of an upgrade. We have an extra vacuum tube here, and we have an extra vertical heat sink. Um, there's, look, there's a missing capacitor here. Is that a capacitor, or is that the choke? Um, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. And it says dedicated digital supply here. I don't think it ever set it up here, but it's got one. The DAC 1.1, that's a dedicated digital supply. I mean, so it's got one. So there's some differences going on. So let's just leave it at that. The 2.1X X signature gets an upgrade. Cool? Let's leave it at that. Um, when you go to the professional edition, there's no changes. And let's prove it. Okay, so let's go to the 2.1X signature. And let's look at the photos of the pro edition. I've gone back and forth. And the only changes I can see... is the color of the capacitors on the digital board. See that? They're kind of goldish. And over here, they're just regular looking electrolytics. But they didn't mention it that I saw. I don't see any other. Do you see any other changes? Well, yeah, there's, okay, there's an upgrade. Okay, that's a regular cap. I just saw that, and there's like a gold color one there. The resistors, these are the resistors here, these little blue guys. They look the same. These big electrolytic caps look roughly the same. The tubes are the same. This thing here, whether it's a cap or a choke, I'm, uh, it's about the same. So let's leave it at that. So maybe an upgrade. Maybe, uh, maybe the caps are upgraded. All right. So let's leave it at that. All right, now let's go as just like with respect to the digital board and the analog board. When you bump up to the 4.1, you get some pretty significant improvements, okay? Well, not just like. With the analog and digital boards, you get significant improvements, Im improvements with the 4.1. Not so much here with the power supply. They say they've upgraded the caps and the resistors and not much else. Not a big deal to me. Maybe a bigger deal on the analog board, on the power supply. I don't see how that makes a shit's bit of difference. But that's just me. Um, but let's take a look at it. What 4.1 sig? Okay. Let's go look at it. Uh, they didn't have it. They didn't have a high res gallery for the 4.1 limited. Sorry, they didn't have a high res gallery, so I had to take one of the crap photos they had. And I'm staring at it, and what I do see is a color change on these caps right here. So it looks like there's an upgrade on those caps. Mm, uh, this cap here goes from gold to blue. This could just be supply chain issues. You know, you know, I, you know I don't know. We still have two vertical heat sinks. For uh, for solid for some solid state devices, I don't even know what they do. Are they regulators? I don't know. Don't have schematics. All right, well, let's go back. Uh, when we go to the 4.1x Pro Edition, um, they say they've added some audio note copper film caps. The the uh, 0.22 microfarad and 0.47. I'm assuming it's microfarads. Um, the 0.22 and 0 0.47, I'm going to guess, are these boys here, which they upgraded previously. So let's take a look. Yeah. So they already upgraded them, but they didn't note it in the 4.1 Limited that I saw. So that's what those are. Those get upgraded. 
I mean, you know, these are critical capacitors. You know, capacitors have a lim have a lifespan. Electrolytics have a lifespan. They do. They're like vacuum tubes. You know, they have a lifespan. They will dry out. They will die at some point. Um, so it, it is, in that sense, electrolytics are critical in the power supply. So I might take that back. But as far as hearing a difference between them, I don't know about that. For longevity, quality is better. All right. Let's move on up to the big boy in terms of cost, the 5.1 SIG. Uh, big, humongous, colossal, killer colossal changes. Everything changes. Ev almost everything. Here's where I was super confused and I ran out of time to really try to understand things. But, but we get an entirely different tube rectifier. It said dual toroidal digital transformer. Let's look for that one. It said a new super regulation digital. You know what? Let's step through these. Let's do one by one. Let's look at the, the uh, 27 uh, 4B replica. It's a replica because it's not new old stock. Rectifier. So let's uh, scroll on down and look at the massive changes here. You can't, it's unrecognizable. Here's the power supply here. It's not even the same. So here's that uh, that rectifier tube. It's a big boy too. Sweet. Okay. And remember that it's got that super regulation digital supply. Look at all those. I mean, it's just like parallel. It's got ver one, two, three vertical heats. Looks like just massively parallel stuff going on there. Where's the toroidal transformer? Uh, what am I missing? I, am I having a, like a seizure? A stroke? Do I have old timer's disease? Would someone tell me where the toroidal tra is it underneath? Where's the toroid? Damn it. Okay. Um, I don't see it. I don't see the digital toroidal transformer. I don't see it. Where's Waldo, man? Okay. We saw the super regulation digital board, and it said that there's an unregulated supply on the analog, and that's fine, man. That's great. I mean, unregulated, unregulated supplies provide the most instantaneous current to your, um, to your circuitry. You know, um, there's no veil in the way. There's no roadblock in the way. It's, you know, a regulator is a bit of a roadblock sometimes. Um, so uh, that's wonderful. That's great. And they call it a new shunt power supply. Now, that's a type of circuit. I'm not going to get into the details. And I'm quite frankly not that familiar with it. I've never worked with them, never designed one, never built one. I know it's a type of circuit. You can Google it. You can Google... Uh, uh, vacuum tube shunt power supply or something like that. You can get some information on it, but it's an all new animal. And that would be this puppy right here. Um, I don't know. I think this is the filament supply we're going to talk about in a minute, but this would be the new shunt supply. Look at, it, this is beautiful. Look at these components. I mean, it's just outstanding. Okay. Um, what else is different? There's a called a mentor filament board. And, you know, the filament is the thing that glows inside the vacuum tube. It's the thing that, um, that heats up to a very specific temperature that allows the electrons to uh, boil off the cathode, shall we say or gets them ready to leave the cathode. Um, so, and that filament, uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's the filament board. Um, so I'm guessing that's what that was all along is that um, this was a regulator or something for the filament. See, we have one tube, 
filament supply, two tubes, filament supplies. Right on? Okay. So um, here we have, um, no, new filaments. I, I, I don't know. No, I'm wrong about that. This would be, uh, don't listen to me. These are the filament supplies for the tubes over here. Yeah, duh. Yeah, these are the filament supplies for the tubes over here, and maybe these two. All right. Although I doubt it. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. I've got to get off to the hospital, see my dad tonight to feed him dinner. So if I sound like I'm in a hurry, I am. But they are the filament supplies. Uh, likely, yeah, likely for the tubes. Yeah, likely these are for the tubes on the uh, analog board. Yeah, sorry. Speculating out loud. Okay. And what else is different on the... Okay. Dual mains transformers. Ah, okay. Let's look at that. So here's the mains transformer. Mains means the power coming in from the wall. All right. So we have one mains transformer. One mains transformer. One mains transformer. Uno. Uno. Uh... Dose somewhere. I see one, two, three, at least four transformers here. So I don't know what's going on. There's, there's four transformers. What, Where they go and what they do, I don't have schematics. But there's an upgrade. That's all I know. All right. And then they have what's called a three wide band chokes. And that would be for filtration, you know. After the, after the, um, let me go back to them. I can't think and, okay. So, um, the chokes would be for filtration. And so it's a, it's a choke filtered supply or sometimes people call them choke regular. It's a choke filtered supply. Wonderful. Fantastic. Let's leave it at that because this is the point of this video is not, get, not, this is not a tutorial on tube, tube circuit design. The point being is it gets better and better and better. And here we have best. This is the work of art right here. And, I'm, and there's probably a barrier that goes in between. I can see a hole down here that they removed so you can see everything. Okay, that barrier would be the electromagnetic interference barrier. The 5.1X Pro is the same. The same as above. So there's no need to even talk about that. All right. There you have it. So which one am I considering and why? Well, um, I wish I could. How do I erase all this crap? Can I erase all this crap? Let's see. Mm. All right. Let me get my pencil again. All right. Let me... Um, I wish I had everything in front of me from the analog board to the digital, but let me tell you which one and why. Um, I am ruling out anything in here, not because it's there's anything wrong with it, not because of quality issues. I'm perfectly fine. They all use the same DAC chip. But if you remember back from part one, I want the output transformers. Um, I don't even get a picture of them in here, but there's no can't really see. there's a little hint of one right there I want the analog board with the output transformers you can go back to part one and look at that um, so you have to you have to go with the 4.1 and above to get that and I feel that sonically oh boy some guy named it's a weird name his name is potential spam Never. What a name. Can you imagine if your name was potential spam? Is anyone ever going to talk to you? Okay. This guy keeps calling me, harassing me. Um, so, where was I? I'm now I'm discombobulated. Uh, okay. I want those output transformers, and I feel that that uh, and other aspects of the 4.1 and above, there are things that make a 
a big difference in sound to me and there's also eye candy involved and also psychological effects involved and placebo effects um, for me personally and I'm willing to admit it okay but I want those output transformers and I want that analog board topology that I think makes a colossal difference I'm not think I don't I don't give a rat's tail much about the power supply differences I really don't I don't care about any of this stuff um, the stuff on the digital board, I don't care about. It's all about the analog board that I care about. So I'm looking at either the 4.1 Limited or 4.1 Pro. Anything up here on the 5.1 and above, I, I find that the value proposition has a point of diminishing returns. You get eye candy and all that. But quite frankly, I don't have this kind of scratch right now. So, I mean, you know, I could, but it would be irresponsible given my station in life right now. So for me, it's the 4.1 or 4.1X. Now, I'm going to leave. I'm almost done with the video. There's a possibility I might tie one on one night, you know, you know, after a couple of glasses. I only drink wine. I don't do any other any other substances, but. There's a possibility I might tie one on one night and push the button on one of these things. But uh, that would be the only reason I would do it, you see. So I'm leaning towards one of these. And if the Pro Edition, if that's pre-built and I get one pre-built already and just get it on the way, I might try that. That's it. End of this series. This might be one of the last videos. The penultimate or something like that videos I ever put here. Um, at least one of this style of videos. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been fun. And um, um, hey, ciao, guys. I'll see you soon. I'll be back. A couple more videos. I'll be back. Now, where's that thing? I could turn this off. Here it is. Bye-bye.